Hello everyone, I'm Derek Wynn, creator of the YouTube channel Derek Nation. Today I will be going I will be teaching you how to create a realistic muzzle flash that can trick the audience into thinking a real gun has been fired. This is the second installment in the VFX or FX Friday video series. For this video, I'll be using an airsoft shotgun with an orange tip that is visible. Normally in videos and films that I shoot, the orange tip is covered with electrical tape. But for this, I'll leave it for the or I'll leave the orange tip. Now, a quick word of caution: Do not go around your neighborhood or town with the tip covered, acting like you're shooting up the place. Keep filming discreet and stay safe. At the end of this video, there will be an opportunity to get free stock footage of my video, along with several mi several minutes. I'm sorry, not minutes. Several muzzle flashes and a green screen shotgun shell. So stick around until the end. All you have to do to get them, once you find them, go to the video URL right before, and then right before the words YouTube, place the letters SS, that is S as in snake, and S that is in snake, and then press enter. You can download the video then and have some fun. Let's begin with the tutorial, shall we? Okay. So this is what we're going to be learning today. Muzzle flashes. Uh oh. Okay, that's that's pretty much what we'll be learning, and uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Not that hard. It does take some time if you want to get it good and uh, yeah, a little bit of patience is needed, but not too hard. So let's reset. Okay, here we go. Here's our footage. Okay, we're gonna go to the point where m me, the actor. Uh, is about to shoot my gun. Okay. Okay, right there. Now, when doing muzzle flashes, you want to put the flash right as you pull the trigger. So, we're going to look for that. About right there. Okay. We're going to go to muzzle flashes in the folder. You need to have action essentials too from videocopilot.net. And if you don't, uh, your own luck because I have a few stock footage, fla stock footage, uh, muzzle flashes for you to use when, uh, when we're doing this tutorial and you want to try it on your own. Anyways, let's begin. So muzzle flashes, open that up. Let's look for a good muzzle flash. We're looking up at this top left corner. Okay. That's a good one. We can double click it. Here we go. Not bad. How about this one? That's a pretty good one. Let's use this one, okay? This one's pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our footage right down into this this new create new composition icon, okay? Once you do that. Your footage will be on the timeline and you will be able to edit it from there. So get your muzzle flash and then drag it just right on top. Okay, so now you have your muzzle flash here and it disappears. Right? So let's find the point where I pull the trigger again. You know what? Let's edit this a little bit. Let's edit this down real quickly, really quickly. Let's go there. Okay, bring that in. Okay, there we go. Let's find our point where I'm pulling the trigger. Okay, oh. And it looks like right there. So, there we go. Let's drag our footage 
the correct position. So it pops up on the timeline. Get visible. Okay. Okay, what I like about this muzzle flash is that yeah, there's a big flash there, but it slowly and subtly goes back to this little dot that you can insert into the barrel of the shotgun. So let's bring it down a little bit. Now, when creating muzzle flashes, real life flashes aren't that big, and they're very subtle, and they're really quick. But in these days, Hollywood and many YouTubers like, I don't know, Freddie Wong and Cordo Digital, they like to have their flashes you know, a little larger than normal, and I agree with them. This is to kind of exaggerate it and to, you know, make it more noticeable towards the audience. So that's what we'll be doing. Maybe a little smaller than that. Uh, maybe a tad bigger. There we go, 57 looks good. Okay, and all we're doing, we're just lining up that small little little flash dot or point just right in there in the uh, in the black hole. All right, just like that. And then we're good. So there's a little there's a muzzle flash first of all. Now, a good muzzle flash should only only last one frame. Okay. The flash I'm giving you, which is this one, the flash is for 2 seconds and then there's smoke. So if we solo this, which is the dot right here, solo button we can see after the flash is fired, there's a, there's a lingering smoke, which I really like because that's what helps sell the effect. Sell the effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the frame, drag it from the left to right, and move it one frame. Okay, and that way the flash is only for one second, or for one frame. So if we, were to, if we were to look at our footage right now, this is what it would look like. Bam. Let's try that again. Bam. Sorry, I like doing that. sound effects. Not bad, right? Well, we're getting there. We still have quite a bit to do. You know, we need to brighten up that, that flash a little bit, have it affect our body where it, the light from the flash is, you know, emitting onto our, or falling onto our skin, our clothes. But we're close. Definitely we're close. Also, a shotgun shell would look really nice coming out. Wouldn't you think, or would, wouldn't you agree? Of course you would. <laughs> okay. So. We're going to select our footage. Bam. Go to brightness. And contrast. We're just gonna drop it right on the footage or of the muzzle flash. We're gonna brighten it up. We're gonna increase the brightness. Brighten it up. We're gonna increase the brightness. Oh, not too much, but just a little bit. And then we're gonna maybe go negative seven. So before, after, before, after. All right. Then, right-click on the bottom panel below, kind of where the time timeline is. Click New, Adjustment Layer. Okay, now this is the Adjustment Layer. We can we can do a lot of things to, uh, to this layer, which will affect the overall look. So, uh, you know, color correction is really applicable to this, this, uh, this Adjustment Layer. So we'll do the exact same thing we did with the Muzzle Flash. We'll grab the Brightness and Contrast and drop it right on the Adjustment Layer. Okay. We're going to increase the brightness all the way and, I don't know, bring the contrast to maybe 46. Grab the ellipse tool and if it's a box, like or like that or something, you just click on, click and hold on the image and while holding the image, drag your mouse over to the ellipse tool and let go. Okay, simple as that. We're going to draw an ellipse, I don't know, like that. Okay, not too bad. Um, that's good enough. Okay, now, n now that it's a mask, it has a rough and sharp edges, a rough and sharp edge. Uh, we want to feather this so it's not as, not so harsh. So click with the adjustment layer, select F, 
on Mac and PC, and it takes us to the mask feather. We're going to feather it quite a bit, maybe to 72, and then if you press T, that goes to our goes to our opacity, and that's how bright it is. So let's bring that down quite a bit, maybe I don't know 40. Yeah, 40 looks good. So before, after, okay. And this is just to simulate, you know, flashes are hot. And so that's kind of what, what you're looking for. <clears throat> we're going to uh, we're going to crop the layer just a little bit. So control command control shift D on the windows, and I believe it's command shift D or something like that. Now for light, we're going to let it go for not for one frame, but for two. So after the second frame, then you can chop it down again and uh, light should be for two frames while the flash itself should be only one so we have something like that boom and that's not bad bam bam so if you go back to our our example You go, I go, I go, bam, I shoot. There's that, uh, there's that two frames of light right there. Disappears. All right. Now, if you look very subtly, look at my face for a second. Okay. Notice the difference? And look at my forearm right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our tutorial, okay, back on the adjustment layer, okay, we're going to duplicate it, command D, or control D, we're going to delete our mask on this one, bam, so we have a full, you know, full-fledged, you know, our, our adjustment layer is back to normal. We're gonna grab our pen tool. If you don't have the pen tool, exact same as the uh, as the shape or ellipse tool, click and hold on the pen tool, and uh, select you know the pen tool or whatever tool you need. Now we're gonna draw pretty much where the where the burst or the flame would affect us in real life. So with the light coming from here, I'm pretty sure you would see light coming on my forearm. Or, you know, coming off to our forearm. Okay, that's perfect. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to change the opacity and lower or increase the feathering. So it's not that big of a deal. Now, let's go to my forehead. Let's, you know, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's get some of the barrel into it, okay, shall we? Go through the barrel, come up. I don't know, that's pretty good. Come down. All right, perfect. So we have these two areas. Without feathering or, or uh, opacity, it'll look like this. Bam. <laughs> Boom. I mean, that looks all right. <laughs> Not very good looking, but uh, that's okay. We'll We'll fix it. So, with the second adjustment layer, we're going to press F for mask feathering, and we're just going to feather these bad boys quite a bit. So, it's actually okay to, to do it where it's almost like 100%. So, I would suggest, I don't know, 97 for the arm, and... 55 for the forehead now if we take a look at this just think about how much it changes okay so here's here the light on my body's on and there's off on off on off not a lot very subtle and uh that's just another subconscious little trick you can use to kind of fool your audience 
So here it is, you know, full playback. Boom. That, lo that looks pretty good. Now, normally, you know, not all gun, fl gun flushes, gun flashes don't have smoke right after it, but the Action Essentials 2 pack is awesome. I am not being paid at all to say that they are awesome and definitely worth, you know, to go check them out. Uh, they are, you know, pretty expensive, especially to some, to the normal Joe like me, you know. Uh, and that's why I've decided to give you two of two of my flashes that I've made. We're using one of them right now. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> so let's let's uh, continue, anyways. That looks pretty darn good. Let's take a look at the example again. Zoom in on here. Boom. So that's what we have so far. And you know what? It looks like all we need to do now is add that shotgun shell, and we'll be done. Man, this is gonna be a fast tutorial. Anyways, let's uh, let's do that, shall we? So, in the video, I am going to give you a free uh, 12 gauge green screen CGI uh, video clip kind of a thing. I'll show you right here. This is it. This is actually really cool. It's very detailed, and it spins. If you decide to end up looking for a 3D model or a green screen version of a shotgun shell you just want to make sure that it spins it just increases that you know that that much more you know being realistic anyways so that's what I'll, that's what you'll be receiving if you download this video and then you can take into I don't know Premiere or Windows Movie Movie Maker and then you can chop it up and take the footage individually <clears throat> Okay, so there's the footage of the green screen shotgun shell. Very, very, you know, intricate and detailed. And I like that a lot. So anyways, let's get back on track, shall we? Close the adjustment layer. Bam, bring down the shotgun shell. We can keep it on the top for right now. Ooh, that looks so nice, right? <laughs> oh, man, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> okay, so when doing shotgun shells, or any gun for that matter, you have to think about how a gun works. When you pull the trigger, the action, you know, the, the gun firing pin strikes the primer of the, of, the, of the round, excuse me, you know, shoots the bullet, and then what happens is the gun... If it's, a, I don't know, either pump action, semi-auto, you know, full auto, you know, what happens is when you pull the trigger, it shoots, and it has, the bolt has to come back some way, somehow. You know, pump action, you pull the pump, it recocks the, you know, the firing pin and brings back the action. Full auto, it does it automatically, that's why it's called full, fully auto. Semi-auto, every time you pull the trigger, it comes back. So, whenever the, 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 uh, whenever the, you know, the firing pin is reset and the breach is clear, that's when the bullet is discharged from the rifle, the, the remaining brass. So we're going to look for when I pull the hammer back, or not the hammer, but the the pump back. Not all the way, but one click from being done. So we'll look. Uh, let's see. We're looking. Okay, here we go. And look at that. Look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that is one attractive face right there. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so right there looks good because it's not completely at the end, right? And it's not too far out either. So that looks good. Jeez. 
Now with this, it doesn't matter if it's a 3D layer or not. We're just going to look for when the shell is, is pretty much sideways. And that's pretty good because I'll want you know I might want to see a little bit of the of the innards of the casing and all that. So that's good. We're gonna drag the clip, right? We're gonna press R on the 12 gauge shotgun shell, and we're gonna rotate that sucker. Oh, because right, right there is the action. We're gonna wanna scale that down. Like that, and that's pretty good. Okay, and that, and uh, that's our shotgun shell for right now. We're gonna press P at the beginning of of where uh, the shotgun shell is ejected. We're gonna click the layer, press P for position. Click the stopwatch. We're going to go. I don't know if you let's say maybe bam. Let's say that, and we're just gonna simply drag it off. To the side. That's good. And then we can grab this little dot here, and we can we can affect effectively change the you know the, the path of the bullet or of the shell as it, as it comes back. Boom. And that might be a little too fast. So let's just drag the time you know, the keyframe back a little further. That's a little too fast, maybe. Let's try that. That might be a little too fast. Let's see. You know what? That's perfect. Let's just let's just stay. Let's just you know use this as the example since this is just merely a tutorial. You can go back and refine it even more. So, what we're gonna do to get rid of that ugly green, you know, layer that little you know. We're going to use chroma key that, you know, allows you to take away the screen and give you something better. So we're going to solo this layer, okay? Either in the pr effects or presets, you can type in key light or you can go to effect. Oh, make sure the uh, layer selected. Effect, king, key light, okay? Where it says screen color, you click that little, I don't know, pen tool, right? The little needle thing pin tool, click that, and go over and just merely click the green, and bam, look at that, green's gone. So now, let's take a look at this, boom, that might be too fast still, so let's try that, boom, boom. Boom. All right, cool. That's cool. That's good for right now. Now, it looks fine, right? Well, in real life, if something's being ejected, we don't have perfect, you know, perfect sight, and so we're going to see motion blur. And to do that, all we're going to go to is you can press F4 or the toggle switches slash modes. Click that until you get to this, this section, this, uh, I don't know, this little panel right there. We're going to go over to the motion blur icon right here. Down below, find the box where 12 gauge belongs to. Click it, and then come up here to the enables motion blur for all layers and select that. So now, if we look, it's blurred now. I'll get closer to that for you. It's blurred now. See that? Before? After, before, after. And this is also what will really help sell your effect, especially for the shell. So let's take a look so far of what we have. Boom. Yeah, look at that. In reality, your shotgun shell is going to fall, fall more down. So let's say that. Let's take a look at that. Bam.
maybe just a tad faster. Look at that. Okay, that's good enough right now. And that's pretty much the basics of the shotgun shell or any gun flash. Very simple, but it does take some time, you know, for each shell. Each uh each shot, excuse me. So let's see if we have everything. Okay, we have the brightness, brightness. Brightness, flash, bam, smoke, good. I eject the shell right there. It goes. And yeah, that's it. Wow, that's a very fast tutorial. Well, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this short but awesome tutorial, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you would mind, if you wouldn't mind, excuse me, wow, uh, please leave a thumbs up. And if you could, subscribe to my channel, Derek Nation. It helps me out a ton. It gives me the motivation to make more of these and to make videos every Sunday. Uh, now that it's summer, I'll have more time to make videos every Sunday and hopefully one or two of these FX Fridays, you know, every week. Ideally every Friday, so you'd probably be getting two videos a week. That's not bad, right? I mean, man. And uh, maybe occasionally three videos each week. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and yeah, I keep saying enjoyed because I really hope you did. <laughs> uh, I hope you feel more comfortable, you know, using uh, the knowledge I gave you to create some awesome looking missile flashes. If you haven't already, go check out my uh, FX Friday Explosions. That's a pretty cool, pretty cool tutorial. Uh, create some awesome explosions with it. And yeah, I'm going to shut up now, and uh, I'll give you all the free footage that, I'll, that I promised you. And hopefully next week, I don't know what I'll do next week. Maybe leave something. In the, maybe leave a suggestion in the comments below, and uh, or email me something, and I'll definitely make a video on it. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and. Uh, Take care. One second. It's just going to render this real fast for you guys. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys.